coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a review on the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible Silk Esteem Eyeliner. Yes, yes, I had to do research to find out how to pronounce it. It's Silk Esteem, or that's how the L'Oreal commercial said it. So, <laughs> it is this eyeliner, it's not brand brand new. In fact, it did come out a while ago, but it came out with like a smudgy tip at, on one side, and most people didn't like it. I don't know if it just wasn't popular, if it didn't if it didn't strike anyone's fancy, but it, it really wasn't that popular. They repackaged it, redid the formula a little bit, and then relaunched them and named them Silk Seam Eyeliners. And now I'm curious to actually try them. It was to say that um, the curiosity bug, the coffee break research bug bit me and I decided to go in and try them. L'Oreal was having a 40% off sale at Ulta, so I decided to get two and try them out. And I don't know if you guys do this, but I make a purchase and then I run to my car and I rip everything open in the car and I swatch them in the car. So <laughs> I did that with these two pencils. I first got the black one and the turquoise one. And so I swatched them in the car and I thought for some reason that they were warm because it is July and it is hot here in Dallas. And so I thought they were warm because I could not believe how silky soft they are, but they really are that silky soft. It had nothing to do with the weather. Um, so my first instinct was, wow, it's super creamy, but this is going to melt all over my face. I got a little nervous, but I was with my mom and we were driving and we had to go eat lunch. So I just left it on my hand. And then when I went to smear it, it didn't go anywhere. So it's almost like a such a velvety soft lip pencil that when you use it, you can smear it. But if you let it set, it doesn't go anywhere. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. So basically what ended up happening is we swatched the two in the car. Afterwards, we went back and we got every other color that we could find at our local Ulta. Yes, we have issues. Um, if you guys are looking for a comparison towards these pencils, a lot of people are saying there's a lot of dupes for the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. The formula of these pencils blows Urban Decay and Jane and Stila out of the water because the Urban Decay pencils have almost like a clay-like texture. They're soft. I have a hair on my face and I can't for the life of me find it. So the formula of these pencils is, it's almost like a creamy liquid liner that sets. It's so bizarre and it's so hard to describe without just showing you. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer and show you. But if you were to compare it to the Urban Decay, Stila, or Jane pencils, not even close, it doesn't even compare. Those pencils are thicker and they almost have a little bit of a pull to them because they're creamy but they're thick. So when you apply them, sometimes they can apply patchy or sometimes they can give a little bit of a pull and I don't like that. These literally just glide on your hand, it's insane. I went ahead and swatched these ahead of time on my hand just to show you. Um, the first one at the very top, this is the highlighter version. It's basically like a really soft rose gold. It's good for the inner corner or the center of the eyelid. It brings a lot of light. You even apply this to like the Cupid's bow and it would look really, really beautiful, more precise, and it wouldn't budge. So this is highlighter. Then after that is purple. This is one of my favorites. If you're a brown eyed girl like me, purple looks incredible on our eye color. Um, this is called Pure Purple and that swatch is right here on the top of my hand. After Pure Purple is gold and this is the one that I thought I was not going to like because I'm not a big fan of gold eyeliner, but if you guys see that gold, it's beautiful. It's gonna make you look more tan and bronzy. Then I also got Green Ivy. Green Ivy is basically like a khaki green color and it has almost like a gold sheen to it. Um, it. It would probably be a good liner for those of you that don't like the stark black eyeliner but still want that depth to your eye look. Um, and then my favorite of all of them is Turquoise. Look at that Turquoise, can you guys? It's called, actually called True Teal. It's, oh my God, you guys, it's like, it's like pearly, metallic, beautiful. It has no glitter to it. It's just, it's just 
happy, it's like a happy teal. <laughs> and then uh, I also got cobalt blue, and that's this color here. And I actually prefer this over chaos from Urban Decay. I showed you guys chaos in my summer essentials, but I prefer this one so much more. It's a lot creamier and it doesn't have skip. When you apply it, it doesn't skip over or apply patchy like the Urban Decay one does. Then again, this one is called Prune, and this is a good color again for those of you that don't like the stark black eyeliner but still want the dark eyeliner without going as far as far as like applying a black. And that's right here, and then the last one is black. There were several that I didn't get. I didn't get silver and I also didn't get charcoal because I thought I'm never going to use silver. I, I have a complete aversion towards silver eyeshadow and silver eye pencils. Um, and then I didn't get charcoal because I already got prune and black and I thought those were already dark enough to have in my collection. Um, but my mom did get them and she really, really loves them. I've had these swatched on my hand for a little bit now. I, I swatched them before I started filming. And just so you guys could see, the pencils don't really smear. They don't go anywhere. They don't budge. I'm actually wearing the black one in my tight line and my water line and I have no issues with it running. If you guys are fans of Coffee Break with Danny, you know in every single tutorial I use my Milani Liquid Eye. This pencil is my new favorite. Milani Liquid Eye is in the past. I've moved on. I filed for divorce and I'm currently in a relationship with the Silk Esteem in black from L'Oreal. <laughs> I decided to bring you guys in even a little bit closer to show you how creamy these pencils are. I'm going to take my favorite one. This is True Teal and just, just give you a random run on the top of my hand. Like no pressure. This is my right hand. I'm left handed just so you could get an idea. Look at how soft that is. I mean, this is crazy, isn't it? What's crazy is how my hand is looking, but that's how soft this pencil is. I posted these eyeliners on my Instagram account first, and a lot of you mentioned having issues sharpening the pencils because the pencils do have this gold band at the very beginning. Um, the gold band doesn't really stand out from the pencil itself, so it's not like a bump in the actual pencil, but I guess the product, the gold band itself, is harder to sharpen, but I have absolutely no issues with any pencil that I own using my Urban Decay Grind House Sharpener. This sharpener, I got it for $5 when Ulta was having a sale, but I think regular price it's $10. It is worth every penny. This sharpener will sharpen anything and it will sharpen it softly. It doesn't break the tip of any pencil. It doesn't matter how soft the actual pencil is or how hard it is to sharpen. It is a creamy, smooth, extremely sharp eye pencil and it does the job right every single time. Another eye pencil sharpener that I recommend is the one from NARS. The one from NARS is only $6 at Sephora and again, it sharpens pencils like a dream. It doesn't matter if it's one of those wooden pencils, a waxy pencil, um, I know like Lancome has those really weird texture sharpening pencils. They almost feel like they're made out of plastic and they're extremely hard to sharpen. These two sharpeners are amazing and they're not expensive at all. If you're having issues with any type of pencil, check out Grindhouse from Urban Decay or the NARS pencil sharpener. They both have two different openings um, for different size pencils and they're both really great pencil sharpeners. If you guys are interested in any of these products that I mentioned, the pencil sharpeners or the pencils, I'm going to list them in the description box below. The colors that I bought, links of where you can buy them and the price in case you want to find out more information on your own. So all that information will be listed in the description box below. I think that's it guys. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. 